What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. The garage is almost done. I hope the lighting is decent. We're trying a lot of new stuff in here in the garage and uh, trust me, I'm gonna do an entire garage video. Like I guess it's ultimate motorcycle garage 2.0 situation. We're not gonna be showing a video of building the garage, but once everything is done, I'm gonna do a video of like taking you guys through and checking it all out. But I got some really cool videos about the garage specifically coming a little later. But that is not the point of this video. Echo? E. There is still a bit of an echo. Gotta fix that. So anyway, in this video I wanted to, for one, show you guys a really, really cool thing that has to do with regular, regular this, this is a clock. Reg, reg, this is made out of the chain and the sprocket of the giveaway. Oh my gosh. Also, after I talk to you about that clock, I was reading through the comments of a rep wow. I was reading through the comments of episode 19 of season two of Wreck Bike Rebuild, and a lot of you guys noticed that my buddy Luke was over here. Uh, me and Luke are going to do a video together down the road, but a lot of people got concerned that Luke had replaced Brian because Brian wasn't in the episode. And then people were like, why is another mechanic touching the bike? Uh, Brian is still hardcore working on Wreck Bike Rebuild. And uh, I wanted to rest assured everyone that was worried. Uh, we filmed that episode or those couple episodes during days that Brian was at work because Brian is a registered mechanic that does his thing and uh, we can only film on one certain day. So we had to film those videos the day Brian couldn't be here. So don't worry, Brian, AKA Brain, still 100% part of the Wreck Bike Rebuild crew. Also something else people brought up is if you guys haven't watched episode 19 of Wreck Bike Rebuild, like go watch it because things will make sense. But in that video, I didn't realize that I didn't show you guys the bike cranking up after we had flashed the bike. So at the end of this video, we will crank this bike up and show you guys that the bike is cranked up and, and can run after the flash tune. But the main point is the clock, the clock. So, as a lot of you guys know, or at least the guys that were part of Wreck Bike Rebuild Season 1, you guys know that at the end of Wreck Bike Rebuild, obviously we give the bike away to a fan of the Wreck Bike Rebuild community over on Patreon, but I also like to throw in some extra stuff. Most of the time that's like Revzilla gift cards, just because that's super easy for me to handle, and it just lets me give a little more back to you guys that help support the build and what we're doing here with Wreck Bike Rebuild. I was thinking about it, and I want to start giving away something better than like a gift card. And I came up with an idea, well I didn't come up with the idea, but I saw my buddy, another guy that makes uh, moto vlogs here, I guess I don't really make moto vlogs. Does that make me not a moto vlogger? Huh. A buddy of mine that has been making videos for a very long time in this community is Spicy110. That is his channel name right there. So Spicy makes moto vlogs where you, you know ride around, talk to himself. He's over in the UK. He's recently started this new thing that I think it's called Spicy Metalworks. He takes old sprockets and chains, and I think even brake rotors, and he makes them into art and clocks. Uh, he makes some really cool shit, and uh, I messaged him and I was like, hey, if I send you the Wreck Bike Rebuild sprocket and chain, like the one that came off the bike, could you make a clock out of it that we could give it, a and like give it away as part of the uh, end of the season two? And this is the piece of freaking art that Spicy made. I'm gonna show you guys some really cool shots of it right here. Is that not the coolest freaking thing ever? So, wait, did I not bring the other one out? I, I have to admit to something. So, I just might have accidentally asked Spicy to make the sprocket and chain from the Ducati into a clock as well, so, this one's mine though, sorry. 
So I know you guys didn't see these sprockets and chains when I sent them to Spicy, but the fact that these things are meticulously cleaned is insanity. I don't really know how he got that done, but that does bring me to a very good point. Spicy makes videos of what he does with these sprockets and chains and clocks. He like documents the process, so if you guys want to check out these actual clocks getting made, you can check them out on his channel. There will be a link in the description to uh, these specific videos and to Spicy. So if you're into that whole like art, metalworking stuff, definitely subscribe to his channel because he's got some really cool stuff going on over there. This isn't all we're giving away because there's more cool shit. So, I was greedy and I got the season one Rec Bike Rebuild chain and sprocket clock. I'm keeping that one. But what Spicy also does is make keychains. He takes the chain and just makes these little keychains out of it. So, what I got him to do was send me three of the keychains for season one and three of the keychains for season two. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna give away these three keychains each, like the three from season one, the three from season two, but the rest of the chain keychains are actually on his Etsy store. You can check that out in the description down below, and you guys can go get one of the, look at the freaking move. Oh my God, I don't know why I'm so in love with these keychains, but they are freaking awesome. So as far as giveaways for Rec Bike Rebuild, with the bike, there's gonna be, somebody else is gonna get the clock. This is a different person. You cannot win multiple things from Rec Bike Rebuild. If you win the bike, you can't win the clock. If you win the keychain, you can't win the bike. Situation like that. Clock, and then six keychains all together. Three from season one, three from season two. Then with whatever else we give away. So yeah, go check out that stuff. Oh, also something else that you guys probably can't see unless I show you very meticulously close. He actually stamps, not stamps obviously, it looks like he etches it. It says C2WWBR Season 2 ZX10R Spicy 110 2018 number 002. So that is on the back of this clock. You are getting, if you like got the clock, you would be getting a one of a kind clock. It's so freaking cool the stuff he does. So I highly recommend you guys to go check out his page. I love the stuff he's doing. I love the fact that if you have that, you are the only person in the world to have that. That is just really cool. Forgot to add something to the video. It should go without saying that these uh, chain keychains are in very limited supply. Like, Spicy makes these out of, off of the like extra pieces of chain, so he only has so many of them that are for sale. Obviously, I'm giving away these six, but if you guys really want one, I don't know how much they are, but links in the description. If you want one, you need to grab them because they will not be many of them. Can't be that many that he uses. I don't know, go check the links. Okay, that's the clock. You guys go check out the clock stuff. Uh, the bike. Still gotta show you guys the bike cranking up. Let's move the camera. Okay, I need a key. Shit, should've grabbed that. Really, when I go to film something, I lose the key? That would be terrible. Never mind. found the key, it was, it was in front of my face. All right, so this is the flash tuner. We have the Graves full system tune on this bike. This is the crank up because Chase is an absolute idiot and didn't show you guys. Also, prep your ears. This, this is gonna be loud. I should wear, I need headphones. Remember kids, motorcycles are loud. Make sure to use noise canceling Bose headphones when turning them on in small areas. Hello, hello, can't hear anything, okay. Here we go, cranking up the uh, ZX-10 with the uh, stuff. I shouldn't have played music. Okay, I'm gonna open the garage door before it. <coughs> I noted that was a terrible idea to crank a bike up 
in a closed garage. All right, so yeah, that's all I got for the video. Uh, check out the links in the description to check out all Spicy's cool stuff. And uh, if you want to be one of the people that gets the clock stuff, all you gotta do is join the Patreon page. There's still one episode left, so there's still a chance. If you haven't made the decision to join Patreon to get the bike, I don't know if a clock is gonna be like that last thing to make you go on there. But there's options for a dollar, so what could it hurt? It's better than a lottery ticket. Anyway guys, I'm Chasing on Two Wheels. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, next week will be some videos about getting the garage to the point uh, where we got the flooring in and moving stuff from the old garage. And after that, I think we'll have the reveal video of the new garage once it's finally finished. Finished, because is a garage ever finished? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Later. All right, outro crew. We didn't, we didn't die. So that's, that is awesome news. Anyway, outro crew, let me know what you guys think about the clocks. I think they are so cool. But let me know if I'm just kind of like, they're my clock, like they're from a bike I was on. So like, do I have like this feeling about them? Or is that just in general? I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.